I forgot how easy these are to open. All it is is a rip, rip thing in the back. I didn't have to get my knife or anything. So, uh, okay. Cool. Uh, scheduled to be released, I think, tomorrow or the day after. I'm not really sure. Soon, though. This is the Blu-ray Spine 886 of uh, the last movie by Robert Bresson, or Robert Bresson, depending on how you want to do it. It is French, though, so I go Robert Bresson. Uh, L'argent, or money, is the way it translates. Uh, this is about a, a tr the, it's in color. Uh, it's a 1960-something movie, I think. Uh, 19, 1983. Yeah, 1983, and uh, 94 minutes in color, monaural in French, of course, with English subtitles, uh, 1.66, 20 aspect ratio, so not quite television size, it could be more, uh, longer than that. Um, this is the last movie of Robert Brasson, and it follows the, it's a counter, counterfeit bills that make their way from, uh, what is, what is essentially a schoolboy prank up to the release to the arrest of somebody. So, uh, yeah, well, let me read what it says. Uh, L'Argent follows a counterfeit bill as it originates in a schoolboy prank, as I said, then circulates like a virus among the corrupt and the virtuous alike before landing with a young truck driver, landing him to, leading him to incarceration and violence. With brutal economy, Bresson constructs his unforgiving vision of original sin out of starkly perceived details, rooting his characters in a dehumanizing material world that withholds any hope of transcendence. Yeah, so not always the, uh, you know, not always the light at the end of the tunnel guy. Uh, uh, but I really enjoy his films. They're usually sad. This is gonna, it's a new 4K digital transfer. Press conference from 1983 Con. Uh, film Festival, featuring Bresson and the film's cast. L'Argent A to Z, a new 50-minute video essay by film scholar James Quant, the trailer, plus an essay. Well, okay, let's take it, let's open this up. I don't always open these, but I'm going to guess this is not, I repeat, not the map-like thing we've been getting lately. Uh, it looks, it looks book-like. I'm not going to swear to that. Maybe they listen. I know I've been complaining to anybody who'll listen at uh, Criterion Collection that, uh, you know, people aren't liking it. We shall see. And I've mentioned that in many of my reviews. Now, they're still great movies, and they're still done well. And even if this still is a map-like thing, doesn't look like it, though, that I'm, you know, it's still going to be a good movie. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's not... You you buy these ultimately for the movies, but but also I, I buy them for the total experience of the of the package. For instance, I like the artwork on this quite a bit. I really like that, stark, but yet telling. Here's the disc inside, and here is a book, a rather thick book playing again, but clearly a book. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah. So you've got The Weight of the World by Adrian Martin, which is a 10-page essay, then another then another 24-page uh, essay. Um, it looks like an interview. I'm looking not for a description, but for a vision of things. An interview with Robert Bresson and around, on and around l'argent. Or money. Yeah, it's a whole uh, printed interview, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. And then still a few pictures here and there. Mainly it's, it's words in here. There's not a lot of pictures. There's just a couple of uh, really small pictures at the start of each section. Still, really happy that there's the booklet back, and then the inside's just gray. Keeping it with the plain theme. Really happy to pick this one up, though. It's, uh, or have it, or have it shipped, or whatever you want to call it. Really, I guess it's a pickup. Um, that is L'Argent, Robert Brasson. Look for this one. 
It should be coming out, I believe, on the 11th of July, if I'm not mistaken. As I'm filming this, it's the 10th, so this is due any day. In time, in fact, the, the 11th corresponds with the Barnes & Noble 50% off. Uh, I'll be doing a video of stuff you should possibly consider at the 50% off uh, Barnes & Noble sale for a Criterion Collection. And um, this could certainly be one of them. Brasson's last film, a classic. Uh, I've seen the film. It's a great film. And um, I wouldn't mind doing a review, but I want to watch all the extras on it first. But I will say it's a great film. I, I like all Brasson's stuff, though. I mean, everything he does, I I tend to uh, really enjoy. So uh, I'm just looking over at my collection, thinking in my head, what would I recommend people to buy? Well, it depends if you like DVDs or Blu-rays. Um, some things are out of print. So I want to include those. Um, Something's been upgraded to Blu-ray. Upgraded to Blu-ray. Probably recommend the Blu-ray over the DVD, unless you just ha you know you have to have the DVD because you don't have the blue you don't have the ability to get the Blu-ray. Uh, you don't have the player, or you just like the DVD. They're cheaper, and um, for the most part they are. And sometimes the picture quality is close. Depends on what it is. Oh, that's good. The Yeti can't beat it um but that's it it's a quick video i mean i i don't want to do too much until i want to do the full review on this uh people have asked me for different things for review I'm, I'm happy to review some but i've gotten so many different requests on so many different films of mine that it's difficult for me to wade through that i don't think i have a there's no consensus as to what people want to see me review so you know I'm going to watch something now. I don't, I don't think it's going to be large on. I'm trying to catch up with some stuff that I've become backdated on. I've got my eye on something that I think I want to look at, so I, I may do that. Uh, I'm in the mood for some horror criterion. So I may do that. All right, you can see all the board games I've got, too. Um, highly recommend that you check out my Dean of Games channel, where you talk about board games, show some of the ones I picked up. I've got one, two, three, four shelves here. You can see three of them. The fourth one down here you can barely make out. Um, but I talk about these games. I talk about why board games, why play board games, why do I think it's a good hobby to get into, um, especially with families or even just friends, why a board game can be a good experience. It can keep you thinking, can offer some great conversation around the table, and so on. As can watching a movie together or going to a movie together. So... Um, there's some similarities there. I collect both now. I've kind of run out of room uh, for everything. But uh, at one point I had other shelves up here with DVDs. Those have moved to the closet. These have obviously taken over this space here. These are larger than Blu-rays and DVDs. But I still have my Criterions. It takes up a one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five and a half and growing quickly. Um, I will say thank you again to the Criterion Collection folks for sending me L'Argent. I will be reviewing it. I do a blog as well as a uh, vlog. Um, so I will be reviewing it at some point, uh, whether it be on here or the blog or both, um, probably soon. But I can tell you this much uh, about L'Argent. It is a brilliant film. It is a one of those films that as it as it moves along, you're almost, you know, it's almost inevitable, I guess you'd say, the way it ends, but uh, or the way it moves. Um, I'm not going to say the, the ending is predictable, except for if you know Bresson, you know that your characters are going to be faced with with situations that that are not going to be uh, ones with lots of hope. Let's put it that way. Um, whether they be incarcerated, whether they be arrested, whether they be uh, doomed for death, whatever the case might be. Uh, but I really do like uh, Robert Bresson or Robert Bresson. Take your pick. All right, guys, take care. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And until the next time, Dean of DVD saying thanks for watching. I do appreciate it.